industrial robots are increasingly being used for welding, painting, assembling, or materials handling. Efforts have been made to automate the drilling process when hole quality is not important. However, drilling processes in the aerospace industry require individual part accuracy and hole quality not found in today's robotic systems. There are several difficulties in applying a robot to the drilling process. First, no available drilling machine is suitable for use by a robot. Most commonly available drilling tools are modifications of designs used in manual operations. Second, the rigidity of present industrial robots does not lend itself to accurate drill positioning or to cope with the dynamics inherent in the drilling process. And finally, the drill bit must be constantly monitored for tool wear or breakage if hole quality is to be maintained. Efforts by the Mechanical Engineering Department of the University of Wisconsin-Madison College of Engineering to improve drill tool performance on robots has led to the conclusion that a special end effector exclusively designed for robot applications is necessary to meet all the needs of robot controlled drilling. The aim of UW-Madison researchers was to develop an end effector for robot controlled drilling which would be computer controllable and easily interfaced with a robot, have fully automatic quick tool changing to increase efficiency and reduce downtime, have precise sensing and control of countersink depth, be of light and compact construction for easy handling by a robot, have compensation devices to correct robot positioning errors. Have a sensing system to ensure performance, including the ability to detect machine failure, tool wear, and breakage. And to have provision for auxiliary equipment to perform such processes as lubrication or chip removal. Using these design criteria, UW-Madison researchers have developed a new end effector for robotic drilling. The unit consists of two sub-assemblies, the compliance mechanism and motion actuator, which provides the insertion motion and small lateral or angular adjustments, and the primary mechanism, providing all the basic elements for drilling operations. Power is provided by two air motors, supplying two horsepower under 90 PSI pressure. The power from these air motors is transmitted to the spindle through different pinion gears, producing speeds of 3,600, 8,000, or 16,000 revolutions per minute. The feed is provided by a preloaded ball nut and ball screw, driven by a stepping motor with a resolution of 5 ten thousandths of an inch per step. The drill tool is linked to a microcomputer which controls and monitors the tool's operation. Solenoid valves on the air motor and air cylinder are monitored and adjusted by the microcomputer to the required parameters. Pulse signals generated by the computer allow feed stroke and feed rate to be fully controlled. The stepping motor drive module is also integrated into the computer controller. Future hardware and computer software developments will allow for online performance monitoring and hole quality prediction. Drill tool monitoring by microcomputer requires a system of electronic sensors integrated into the mechanical design of the system. These include a displacement sensor or LVDT to provide information on the tool's position, displacement, and feed rate. A magnetic pickup sensor to measure the spindle speed. A strain gauge bridge designed to sense the thrust force in the drilling process. A pressure transducer used to measure the inlet air pressure. And a piezo accelerometer mounted in both the X and Y direction to measure the cross-directional vibration of the drilling unit, which aids in evaluating hole quality and tool condition. Torque, though not monitored by a sensor, can be derived from air pressure and spindle speed measurements. In the drilling process, there are three control modes to give the desired depth. Mechanical stop, 
open loop control, and closed loop control. The mechanical stop method uses an adjustable stop to prevent over drilling. Open loop control relies on the fact that the feed rate of the tool during the drilling cycle is sensed by the microcomputer from the stepping motor and precision ball screw. The depth of the hole to be drilled is measured from the number of pulses needed for the stepping motor to drive the ball screw the desired depth. Closed loop control is used primarily in this system for the online measurement of countersink depth. Measurement of the countersink depth by the displacement transducer is used to control the stepping motor, which in turn controls the drill feed. The majority of industrial robots are not capable of performing the accurate drilling procedures necessary in the manufacture of sophisticated aircraft. The cost of developing such a robot would be prohibitive. An alternative approach is the design of a new end effector and tooling system coupled with a template to locate drilling positions. The nose piece of the UW's end effect unit is inserted by the robot into the template hole for the exact drilling location. The nose piece then guides the drilling unit. A remote center compliance system determines both lateral and angular compliance. Through the use of the template and the compliance system designed into the unit, robot accuracy and rigidity are not required for accurate hole drilling. The end effector has a quick change tool mechanism to change the tool and nose piece for different hole sizes. To remove the tool, the drilling unit is given an additional feed stroke. The nose piece is unlocked and pushed out, releasing the drill and holder. Tool pickup is accomplished by the air cylinder, pushing the drill unit down onto the drill holder and nose piece, and locking it into position. The tool release and pickup procedures are controlled by the microcomputer. When used with a robot, various drilling tools would be placed and picked up from a self-aligning tool rack. Drill length is controlled by a special tool presetting device to accurately fix the drill in the tool holder. Research is currently underway to develop online diagnosis of the machine tool's operation that will detect any failures in the drilling process. These failures include tool wear, tool breakage, machine trouble, and workpiece failure. The sensors built into the machine tool are constantly monitored by the microcomputer. When their outputs deviate from a specified range, a problem can be detected and relayed to the operator. For example, a bearing failure or a spindle roundout may be detected using vibration signals from the accelerometers. Or drill wear or breakage could be deduced from higher thrust force and an increased vibration signal. Errors in shape, roundness, geometry, dimensions, or other imperfections of a drilled hole result from imperfections in the machine tool, drill bit, and the drilling process. Online monitoring of the dynamic signals of the drilling process could lead to an immediate prediction of hole quality and result in online quality control. Composite materials are increasingly used in new aircraft. Drilling composite materials is different from drilling aluminum in two respects. The powder-like chips are difficult to handle, and the delamination phenomenon is serious at the entrance and at the breakthrough points. A special vacuum system is incorporated into the design to collect the powder-like, lightweight chips produced when drilling composite materials. The vacuum system attaches to the nose piece with three inlets close to the drill. An accuracy-free junction to the collection pipe of the vacuum machine allows the quick change features of the end effector to be maintained. Delamination is caused by a high feed rate at the entrance and breakthrough points in the drilling process. An ideal feed rate for composite materials increases feed gradually at the start and decreases feed gradually just before breakthrough. This ideal feed rate curve is identical to the stepping motor acceleration-deacceleration curve. 
The result is that the feed mechanism of this unit will limit the occurrence of delamination when drilling composite materials. Engineers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison are continuing their research to develop new sensing systems for online monitoring of robotic drill tool operations. This newly developed end effector will provide industry with a lightweight, computer-controllable tool for robotic drilling that will produce accurate parts with the whole quality required in precision manufacturing applications.